What's up, y'all? Marjack79 here. Who man. Tell you what, out of the 400 and something videos that I've made on this channel, man, I've never been nervous to hit that upload button until today. I'm sitting on a bombshell, people, and honestly, I didn't really quite know whether or not, huh, Zelda, I didn't really quite know whether or not I wanted to upload it or, or not, but as you know, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z, and sometimes you either have to put it up or shut up. That's right. It's time to put up or shut up, man. And <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like it's within my right that if I get some huge information, then why shouldn't I release it to the 1200 faithful that have uh, believed in this channel and believed in me to release some good hardcore content? I say f let's do it man let's do it i don't got nothing to lose well actually i got a lot to lose within this channel at least i appreciate y'all i really do if you clicked on this video yes thank you if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button man that's right because i feel like i'm risking it all right now I'm getting ready to tell y'all what i know so let's go ahead and come right out with it man gamestop GameStop has been struggling, man. There's no doubt about it. GameStop has been struggling. You know, I feel like they've turned, did a 180 on their entire store model. They are slowly but surely, I feel like they're going away from selling used games. The games, I mean, they still do, but they're really becoming like a collectible store. I've even mentioned this in previous videos that I think they should just become a collectible toy shop instead of focusing on video games. I think that would help them out tremendously. Now, I think they're eventually going to do it. Here's why I think so. I heard a rumor this morning that GameStop is planning on closing half, 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 Thanos snap half of their u.s stores that's right man oh my god it, yeah half of their u.s stores man it's so it's, it's about four thousand stores uh gamestop wise that is open in the u.s right now and they're going to then i'll snap half of those man they're going to cut it down to about 2400 yeah so how so why am i so confident about this rumor so apparently gamestop has been going through a three-step process to reinvigorate to trying to get customers and guests into their stores to purchase product right so the first step was that they terminated 60 regional managers that is 100% true it has been announced by GameStop 100% it's true um, and my inf the informant that I'm going by here actually announced this a couple of weeks prior to this getting announced by to the general public uh, yeah I don't know man it's yeah it's true so <laughs> clearly one thing I mean just google it you know and then, so the second phase, and why I'm so confident in this third phase of half the stores getting cut, is that during phase two, uh, GameStop cut half of the corporate office. And when I say cut, they terminated half, half <laughs> of the corporate office. So not just like regional people or normal, you know, store manager level. They cut half of the corporate head office team no longer a part of their company yeah this shit is real bro so you know the informant that i'm going by he he announced this like two weeks prior to gamestop like announcing this rumor or this uh information as well to the general population yes that it is 100 percent true google it <laughs> so now we're on phase three so phase three the informants let some people know that GameStop after the fourth quarter and when I say the fourth quarter I mean you know the retail holiday season so like uh, September October you know Halloween November you know Black Friday Thanksgiving uh, December Christmas time you know if you if you work retail you, you know what, what the fourth quarter is and then January is the last month of fourth quarter so and honestly it doesn't end until february the first is technically the start of the of the first quarter so after the fourth quarter of this year of this physical year gamestop is going to close down huh, 2400 stores 2400 stores man 
they are not playing around. This is this is real, and this is their attempt to save the company. So, how do I feel about that, man, dude? Honestly, bro, because uh, I've personally, I've I've worked retail for like ten years plus, right? And I've been through a store closure before. I feel like when you close half of your stores, your company is already dead. It's already dead, man. There's no. I think them, whatever you know, they've said at this point. To try to rectify them saying that the company is going to be saved is just shit at this point. I think I think GameStop is dead. It's only a matter of time before they fully announce that they're closing every store. I think it's going to go the way of Toys R Us, Circuit City, uh, who else? Whatever, uh, Biggs. <laughs> who all, who all remembers Biggs? You know, <laughs> I do. Mark Jack seventy nine remembers Biggs. Do you remember Biggs? <laughs> I love that story. <laughs> I really did. But yeah, man, that oh, I was so much sadness when Tars are Rust Claws. I think that's the one that like hurts my heart the most, man. Because even with Circuit City Clothes, you know, you still got Best Buy, so I really didn't feel it that much. But GameStop closing, it's like ah, I mean, I really, I, I was never a huge. GameStop shopper, you know, the only reason, the only time I really ever bought video games from GameStop is when they had a specific uh, game on a pre-order that you could get like a special physical like statue or some cool game content that was exclusive to GameStop. And that would always be the main reason why if I ever pre-ordered something from GameStop. Other than that, and you know, I always bought from like Target or Walmart or uh, mainly mainly Target, but sometimes you know I bought from Best Buy too. But it was usually mainly Target. So yeah, man. But I think that you know I just it's just, it's just sad, man. Because like I said, like, like I mentioned before, I've been through a retail store closing before, and it's just you know the worst part about it is the people, man. The people that work at each individual store are going to be unemployed and they're going to be without jobs and they're going to have to and uh, like GameStop is not a big enough company where they can just like transfer their people to like different locations or whatever you can't do that when half of the company when half the stores in the company are closing that's not even an, an option so I think I'll announce right now if you're if you're watching this video and you work at a GameStop if you're like a store level at a GameStop I implore you to get your resume out there now start applying just get your get your resume like ready like up update it and start getting some applications out there man you know you know the holiday season are coming you know so target's gonna be hiring walmart's gonna be hiring the uh, god walmart best buy you know restaurants and whatnot i definitely feel like i had a moral obligation to just inform you know people who haven't been told yet because as far as i know i don't even think you know gamestop has told their employees yet because i'm sure it would be some clause in the contract yet if they were told that they wouldn't be able to like announce it to like the public yet or, or whatever so that's what you got people like me for that has this platform that will hopefully share this video too to the to the general public you know it's my it's my responsibility as a youtuber to get this information out there to try to help my fellow gamer my fellow anime lover my fellow movie lover my fellow geek that believed in GameStop to you know to supply a sustainable career to keep food on the table and that's not going to be the case in a, by the end of, by the end of the year so you know, if you're watching this video, you know, just use this information that I'm giving you to get out there and start applying for another job right this second. I promise you, because like I said, I've been through the process of seeing a store closed and seeing some people maybe trying to transfer it to like a different store or they just retire or so on and so forth. And it's it sucks, man. It really does suck. So I'm telling you, if you're a part of this company, if you're a part of GameStop, you need to take the responsibility, accept that the ending is coming and it's time for you to just to move on. Um, now, for, now, some more information about the stores closing. I heard in the rumor that obviously they're going to keep the most profitable stores open. So if you live in like uh, 
community that's really profitable you know your GameStop is probably safe but if you live on in like a low end of town where it's like a lot of theft and a lot of shenanigans going on yeah, your GameStop might not be safe man so you know it's probably going to be a few GameStops by my crib that it's not going to be too safe <laughs> it is what it is you just gotta you just gotta accept it and face facts man you know it's crazy so crazy what crazy times we're living in man no more circuit city no more toys r us no more blah blah blah, blah. and game is going and, I, and it's been a, it's been a long time coming it's been a long time coming dude. i mean from all the crazy that i've heard from gamestop as a company man from like just taking crazy pre-order putting pre-orders on like people's you know receipts without telling them and just uh just yeah man I i've heard some stuff man i've heard some stuff you know personally uh gamestop was never my number one source for video games but i do appreciate gamestop for always usually having a suitable source of action figures you know gamestop had actually became my main source to pick up marvel legends man so that's kind of sad so yeah i'm probably gonna have to end up finding a new source to pick up my marvel legends so they're definitely gonna have to uh figure it out there so but it is what it is you know i'm a toy hunter at heart so i can figure that out there's not really too much skin off of my nose i mean i could always just order the case packs to those marvel legends but no, i mean you know i like that i like that man it is what it is yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah man that's really all the information that i have for you guys like i said if you click the video and enjoy the video then share the video and let's let our fellow man know that if they work for gamestop that the ending is near then it's time to move on man so sad sad crazy not really angry i mean i'm not angry about it it's just it's just sad man because like pretty much all the stores that i would love going to when i was a kid are closing like like eb games gamestop uh <laughs> toys r us like those those were my favorite stores as a kid man you know so it's just sad it's just so sad man but but yeah but yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna dot them that was the main thing i wanted to get out so as always, um, if you appreciate the video, do me a favor and hit that like button. Um, I tell you what, if this video reaches 100 likes, I will do a giveaway to a subscriber of the uh, uh, Avengers Endgame Blu-ray. Yes, I just need 100 uh, 100 likes, likes man. Only thing you gotta do is just comment on the video, and I would do a giveaway to a subscriber. So you can subscribe to me at youtube.com slash martinjack79. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Oh, and if you're new, if you're new to the channel, we do, I mean, we talk about toys, anime, movies, gaming, all geek-related, everything. We go to cons, pretty much everything, you know, con and geek-related, I do, man. So, yeah, welcome. Welcome. Hit that subscribe button, man. And until then, I will see you guys on the next one. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.